Welcome to the Watershed Learning Network. In this module, geared towards instructors, we're going to be thinking about watersheds as systems. Often, problems people face in urban watersheds are complicated. In order to learn how to engage in watershed governance, it can be helpful to think about the different elements affecting the ecological, social, and economic conditions in urban watersheds. Therefore, it may be beneficial to think of urban watersheds as systems. The urban water cycle is complex. Water moves from groundwater rivers, streams, and lakes into homes and businesses, is used by humans, and flows back into the environment. In urban areas, precipitation from both rain and snowstorms falls onto roofs and ground that is often covered by pavement. Rather than percolating through the soil and entering groundwater supplies, precipitation flows over land and can flood neighborhoods. Regulations governing environmental quality and the age of a city's infrastructure and rate at which a city is growing or shrinking interact with environmental conditions to create new watershed dynamics. Such complex problems are often described as wicked problems. According to Wall 2017, a wicked problem is a social or cultural problem that is difficult or impossible to solve for as many as four reasons. First, there is incomplete or contradictory knowledge associated with the problem. Second, the number of people and opinions involved is great. Third, there is typically a large economic burden associated with the issue. And four, there is an interconnected nature of this problem with other complex problems. In order to understand such complexity, it can be helpful to think of an urban watershed using a systems perspective. Donna Meadows, in her book Thinking in Systems, defines a system as an interconnected set of elements that is coherently organized in a way that achieves something. She argues that if you look at the definition closely for a minute, you can see that a system must consist of three kinds of things, elements, interconnections, and a function or a purpose. Thinking in systems can be advantageous when dealing with complex problems that involve helping many actors see the big picture, reoccurring problems or those that have been made worse by past attempts to fix them, issues where actions affect or is affected by the environment surrounding the issue, and this can either be natural or the competitive environment, and problems whose solutions are not obvious. These are often characteristics of issues with urban watershed management. Systems thinking is a set of skills that can help people, one, identify the parts of a system and how they are related, two, predict what will happen in a system if a part or an element of a system or an interaction within a system is changed, and three, understand how the system needs to be changed in order to change outcomes of that system. In other words, systems thinking can help members of a community define a problem in an urban watershed, identify important environmental, governmental, and economic factors influencing their problem, and understand what changes need to be made to improve human well-being and the environment. Systems can be found in many places. In addition to watersheds and other natural examples, systems can be found in ourselves and in both social and economic contexts. Flooding in urban watersheds is a common but very challenging problem faced by communities throughout the world. Often, persistent flooding problems compromise environmental quality and threatens human health. Therefore, this system produces changes in the quality of human life. We define that here as the human condition. For example, flooding in the Proctor Creek watershed in Atlanta is a huge problem. Human health and well-being and environmental quality in the Proctor Creek watershed are being negatively influenced by flooding associated with increased runoff from rain and exposure to polluted stream water from combined sewers. There are many elements associated with urban watersheds and urban watershed management that affect the human condition. You can see some of those elements here. We do not assert that we have included all of the elements in this complex system. However, we have tried to identify some of the primary elements associated with the human condition in urban watersheds. Our hope is by engaging in these modules and by thinking of urban watersheds as complex but definable systems, community members from around the U.S. and throughout the world will be empowered with the knowledge to restore and protect 
the ecological health of urban watersheds, create conditions and opportunities to improve the quality of life of residents in urban watersheds, facilitate equitable relationships between community stakeholders that nurture co cooperation, collaboration, and partnerships, organize and advocate for, advocate for an environment where every watershed is resilient to climate change, promote city watershed programs that make a difference and advocate for changes of programs that are not providing sustainable solutions, and develop learning communities devoted to learning about problem solving for water quality and stormwater issues. As you proceed through these modules, we'll hope that you grow to understand the connections between the social, economic, and environmental characteristics of urban watersheds. In other words, you can start putting arrows between these elements within the system that we, and hopefully you, have defined. We encourage you, as you proceed through the program, to develop your own systems model. Consider what you would place in the center of your system. What do you want to understand? Flooding, human health, biodiversity, job opportunities and green infrastructure? Once you have decided the purpose of your system, ask yourself, what are the appropriate elements and interactions in the model? And what do you need to learn about the system in order to make the types of change you would like to see in the system? Next, consider what you have learned through watching the WLN that can help you design and understand your system. Good luck on your journey.